Hello everybody, my name's Snugglebot, and today I kind of want to take a little bit of time to touch base with you guys. I just kind of want to go over where we've been going with the channel and these ideals and plots that we have with the channel. Now, first and foremost, this I did want this to be a Let's Play channel uh, based around playing video games and doing stuff like that. The top priority is getting those video games done. So we're going to continue with our release schedule of Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays uh, consistently throughout the week, and then every other Friday, having Friday Night Fright. Those are my main goals. Those are what I want. Um, those are the ones that I know I can do consistently week in, week out. I would like to add another day in there by the week. I tried to, uh, for the last couple of weeks, do an extra recording, see if I can't get that fourth day in there consistently. But I wasn't able to. So at this point in time, because, you know, I still have to work a big boy job and make money to live off of and stuff like that, I'm not able to do those four days for us. So I can only pull out those three. Now, on top of that, uh, you may have also noticed that we added a few different uh, types of videos than just the Let's Plays. Uh, I'm sure you guys uh, probably saw when we went to Gatlinburg. Um, I do want to do more of those videos. I don't travel all that often. I'm hoping that I can start doing um, them kind of for conventions and get like the cosplayers and stuff into that because I think that's a really neat thing and it kind of feels like Let's Plays and video games kind of feed off that uh, environment for conventions, especially for anime and gaming conventions. I mean, it's in the name of the description for the convention. Um, also, I want to get some more of the Let's Plays where we're out at the convention as well, just like we did with Colossal Con last year. Now, I was at a couple of conventions where I brought my equipment and got ready to do it, but I just wasn't, didn't have enough time to. Uh, that and I was a little intimidated sitting there by myself. Colossal Con's a little different because the environment is completely different than what a standard convention is. While going to the standard convention, it just didn't seem like I could attack it properly, so to speak. Um, another type of video that you guys will be seeing a lot more of is the Pokefact videos. Now we did just release one earlier this week, uh, this first one, Bulbasaur. And essentially what that's going to be is exactly as it sounds, we're going to be spewing out Pokefacts. And where are you getting these facts you may ask? Well, honestly I'm getting most of them from Bulbapedia and other sites that keep the Pokedex entries. And I like that because I like going through the Pokedex and kind of seeing what changed as they went through the different series and what stayed the same. And then on top of that, we'll go over the stab moves. And also with the Pokefacts, we're going to be having some background music. Now, if you haven't noticed, I was using no copyright sound a lot, which they're they're very nice. They're very great. You go on there, you find the music you want, you download it, you give the credit in the description. No hassle. But there's also another company that we ran into, uh, 99 Lives. They do a fantastic job as well. It's just as easy. You grab the music, you grab the description they want you to put in the video, you pop it in there. So for each video, we're going to be having a roughly two to three tracks back playing onto it. Now each of those videos are going to be roughly 10 minutes long um, because that's a, that's a pretty good time to have the video. You guys get three tracks to listen to. If you like it, the descriptions of where to find, download, and listen to the tracks are always down at the bottom of the description. So we're gonna actually have a lot of those pokey facts coming out as well because I've been working on them uh, pretty consistently and it's going to be hopefully through this month of November and maybe bleeding into December kind of filling those dead spaces between the two between the usual three uh, Video upload now you may say snugglebot. Why don't you just do more games in that downtime? Well with the games There's a lot more that goes into it as you notice We're starting to do more recording in this room. We kind of have it set up to do that I'm hoping to be able to take everything into here um, Like console wise and stuff to record in here because it is easier to record in this space than it is to record out in my living room because I take up the living room for like four, three to four hours on end when I'm doing that and it's not good. And I spend all the time on the couch like hunched over like this. And it can't be good for my back. That's for darn sure. Anyways, and you also notice that we started doing more computer games now. I want to start doing more computer games as well because I feel like that's an easy media and it has a lot more of those uh, small indie games that are free and it's while it's not the phone, it still has that same feel of anybody can access it for the most part. Um, of course, if you don't have a computer, you're not going to be able to, but my computer is not very high-end So it's going to stay with the low-end ones and they are still be kind of sparse in between It just depends on how much power I can pull out of this baby because not only does it have to play the game It also has to capture the video. I do have a laptop But that baby cannot handle capturing the video and I don't know if it's going to be able to handle playing those games So there's three things that I want to make abundantly clear with the channel and always 
always keep at the front of what my goals are on the channel. So number one, I always want to be transparent. If I start doing something new, I want to let you guys know, hey, this is what we're doing with it. Whether it be a video like this where I just get face cam time with you guys or where I start explaining it at the beginning of the video of what I want to do. That as well as any like Facebook post may also give you an understanding of what's going on, but I always want to address it in a video at some point in time, whether it be the beginning of the first video or a, like I said, a cam video like this. Number two, I always want to make sure that I'm doing right by you guys. If I ever start doing something that's silly and dumb and you guys don't like it or it's not enjoyable, let me know in the comments. On the upside of that, flip side, if you do like something that's going on, go and let me know. Because um, every now and then I'll try different stuff, like uh, in some of the videos you'll see I'm popping in like graphics and little animations and stuff to go with the videos. If you think that's cool and you like seeing that sort of stuff, let me know. I'll put more of it into the video, not to the fact that it's going to be saturated with it and it won't be like every single video, but it will make more of an appearance. Um, like I said, we're in the early stages of our channel, so I'm taking time to try and find myself and find where I fit in this whole like conglomeration of like youtubers trying to do stuff so like I said if something's working for you and you really like it let me know if it's not let me know as well because I want to make sure that the content I'm making is something that you guys enjoy the third thing I want to make sure I'm having fun it wouldn't be as enticing of a thing to do if I was out there just making these videos because I felt like I had to make these videos because um, that, that would defeat the purpose of it it's not like even if it was my job to make these videos I would still want to do what I am happy with doing or what I enjoy doing. Now luckily I enjoy video games and I enjoy video editing. Um, found that out in junior high when we had to do a video about Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven. The Raven? Is that what it's called? Yeah, The Raven. The Vines Nevermore. As well as the YouTube video, if you guys want to follow me down on Facebook, you can go ahead and do that. Each time there's a video, we'll be posting on the Facebook post. Plus, if I'm just out and about having a good time and I feel like there's something funny or witty to say, I'll post that up on the Facebook. Also, there is the Twitter, so if you want to follow on that, go that as well. But I thank you guys for taking the time to listen to my thoughts and opinions about the channel. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you like, what you don't like so far, and uh, down in the comments. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.